All right. Good afternoon, everyone. This is uh, Jordan Pernell Jackson of JP here with Artway Alliance, and we're we're doing an awesome steam steampunk uh, drawing demonstration with uh, at Poe and Comics at the at Westminster Hall. So thanks for joining us. And so today, I am thinking about. Uh, I had an idea for Nikola Tesla. So uh, this is what we're going to. This is what we're going to do. I'm going to get into is taking our uh, character Atlas One and turning him into a kind of in tech, I guess, engineer sorts. And um, so this is what we're going to work on today. Uh, but before we get started, I'm going to tell you a little bit about myself and what I do. And so uh, I'm a comic book artist and uh, illustrator. So I write, I write, illustrate comics and uh so i do some i do some science fiction horror uh thrillers cyberpunk it's kind of more my jam and um so i do that and i also do character development for my comics uh and animation and so uh generally and we're going to go through this process today but um when i'm pre preparing a character for animation or uh comics i tend to start off with a character turnaround and so you have these different viewpoints and angles of the character so you have a front view a side view a back view and uh, the three-quarter view or some type of action pose and um, when I'm kind of creating these characters it's very important to create like unique silhouettes and to tell a story through the characters clothing and aesthetic and um, so this was a horror thriller uh, animation I made a in 2016 called Lands of the Wolves, and it follows this uh, young shaman, Anya, who is going through this wasteland to find these missing people in this blood forest controlled by wolf men, wolf people. And um, I wanted to, wanted to show through in her clothing that um, she is um, like her ancestry is from like South America, and she is a biracial character. And I wanted to, you know, be authentic and to carry those the various aspects that would make her unique. And um, I, there was a heavy focus on shaman shamanism in South America specifically. And um, so I kind of incorporated those different elements, cultural elements, to make this character unique. And uh, this was Anya's antagonist, the alpha wolf. And so this character like wears, like has a cybernetic wolf mask and has this like trench coat and has the, has this very just like creepy machete, just, just blood on his clothing um, and this military vest. And um, so like these are different characters that I created when I started doing this animation. And then this was a kind of final uh, final character sheet, or just to give you some like character variations, this was the initial exploration of Anya's um, her cloak and and kind of playing around with that and even like staff designs. Um, so that's generally kind of like how I kind of work before getting started uh, in doing animation and comics. So we're going to we're going to get started on this Nikola Tesla uh, Atlas One character so this is atlas one and so already i know um i want atlas to have group some things together so we're gonna do some organization first before we get started um, but i already know that um, i wanted to go for like a specific uh theme of cyberpunk, I mean, of uh, steampunk. Okay, and what we're going to do is I'm going to I'm gonna start off in lower the opacity because I want to just generate ideas based off of the images that I do have. So we're going to start off with a, I know I want this vest. That's, that's for certain. So we're going to start off with just building a vest for our character. And we got to give him pants. Those pants are going to be a little weird wrapping around his his robotic boots. But we're going to start off with those. Just to get that started. 
And I really want to play with like the Tesla coil. Like that was this really important idea that I had. And something about this 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 uh this uh this stopwatch, the, the watch is kind of like pocket watch is really connecting with me. So maybe our our Tesla Atlas One character may have a a, a Tesla mustache. We'll give him that. Uh, we got to do that. Um, and then we'll we'll also take his hair, his cabled hair, and kind of grease it a certain way. So he has like an interesting texture going on with his hair. Um, and then I'm gonna play around with. Just because this character is into technology and engineering, I, I want to think of him as like as an inventor. Like, what does he create, um, and how does he kind of exist in the world as this robotic creature? And so, I'm just gonna do a quick, just kind of a quick draw over and play around with different different designs and detailing on his hands and also thinking about like what type of items he would carry with him or where so right now I'm even thinking about turn that off a little bit so we can lower this opacity and um, let's think about that bombs so with a little vest And I think, like, right now, I'm imagining these little nodes on his face to have, like, little electro, like, little, little, little diodes and nodes, things that kind of, like, jet out electricity. Um, and I'm, I, I'm thinking of this idea for, like, maybe he has this kind of, like, electric field aura around him, which seems like a really cool concept. And sometimes, like, even my ideas may change. So, like, maybe right now, something about the baggy, the kind of baggy pants that stop short are kind of, like, connecting with me just because I like the shape. So, like, if we look at it like this, it's, like, this, like, very dramatic, kind of, like, triangular shape. And then we have his legs, his robotic legs. Or we can, we can do boots. But we can play around with like the different type of boots in comparison to yesterday's yesterday's design. And then integrating some other elements like belts. Um, I'm tempted to put a lot of belts. I don't know. We'll see. So we got that. And what I'm going to start to do now is. I'm going to kind of like just move our references out the way for a second and, and play around with the rest of the page, rest of the rest of the, um, comp the canvas, so we can really take advantage and um, you know show off show off like our our Atlas One Tesla uh, this character and kind of his his possessions and what he owns, what he has, and. Um, so I'm even thinking about like a pocket watch. Oh, one second. This always happens when I'm drawing. Sometimes I'll be on the wrong layer. But uh, so we may have a little pocket watch, or something that sits in his chest, right there. And I want to just start to just sketch out everything. And even now, I'm like thinking about like the Tesla. Device oil, thinking about like, do these like nodes stick out? Do these kind of stick out on his arms? And then, like, are they generating their own electric field and all this cool stuff, like magnetism? So, we have like lightning and um, different things. And I'm tempted to give him. Uh, um, we may give him goggles. He, this may be a day for goggles, so we'll do that. Um, I'll play around with a different shape because we have these. Those are cool, but we can really play around. We can get fun and creative, and I may even 
I don't know, something about the, the, the pocket watch, we could incorporate some aspect of the, the detailing the pocket watch into his uh, goggles. Just do something fun. Let's play around with that. So I just wanted to fix that mustache. There we go. So we're going to just like work on the hands. Right now I'm just playing around with different ideas. Okay. And I may need to rework the vest. This is why uh, references are very important because sometimes when you're not drawing from reference, things can look a little wonky. Like this vest isn't the best vest that it could be. So let's make it better. Start playing around with things. I may give him. I'm gonna give him a tie. Let's do it. Let's go for it. Give him a little tie. And I may even do a, make another change. I may go and like put the pocket watch. It maybe let it dangle, dangle out of his pocket. <sighs> Think about that. So, so we got that going. Let's adjust that a little bit. Just kind of center it. That's one of my goal is to try to center this on his chest a little bit better. Clean it up. I'm a little, I'm happier with this. It's best now. There we go. It's much better. So that's working. And I want to pull from reference images that we have around us, like thinking about these like coils wrapped around, looking more like coils. And this is where we're going to have to get into color eventually once I've kind of established the design. But the fun part is if I were to, if you were to see this by itself, if we were to take this character, it, this may work. Oh, it's not going to work. But if we were to just shade this character in, we would have a very unique, just a very unique silhouette design for the most part. Because that's important when you're designing characters is to make like an interesting silhouette. So this is what if this person was in the shadows. If this Tesla Atlas one, this version of Atlas one was in the shadows, you would kind of see this. So now that we've kind of established the overall design. We can go ahead and start uh, playing around with like different viewpoints, viewpoints and perspectives of this character, um, and potential, and also calling out different artifacts and items. So even right here, I'm going to start with the back view. There won't be won't be too much needed to do this one, just because it's pretty symmetrical. Uh, then we have to get the shoulders like a belt and then the pants and my goal is to try to keep this because in a way we're kind of I'm prepared I'm thinking as if I'm preparing this for animation um, we have to keep this character on model 
So when I draw this back view, when I draw the side view, uh, these elements are going to li should line up. So just working our way over to the hands. Hello, Angela. Thanks for joining us. Let's draw these Tesla coils. And now that I'm starting to draw them a little bit more, I'm thinking more about like the details um, that will go on these. And like thinking about like these little like screws and bolts or something just to make it seem more believable and not so it's not a flat, it doesn't feel like a flat shape. So we're just going to do that, so we're going to know what that looks like. So I'm considering playing around with the idea of a, um, I really want this idea of like lightning kind of flowing around the the fingertips. So that's something that, that's really interesting to me right now. So I'm going to do that, work on the pants. That looks pretty cool. Let's give them pockets too. You know, also, we're gonna just like get the boots as well. So we have that established. And, and then we're going to do a side view. And so for the side view, uh, I'm just going to try to keep this on model and keep these other items together. And give it a little dimension. A little bit of an ellipses. And so once I have like sketched these out completely, I'm gonna start mapping out the colors. And, and that's that's kind of the next step in the process is once we've kind of sketched out everything, let's consider the colors. How does the color how do the colors reflect the, the character um, and, the, and create a certain mood or aesthetic. So that. And then also, there's one thing I forgot on the back view uh, is the back of his goggles. Make sure that looks cool. We got those. And then we got these little nodes on his face that conduct electricity as well. And we can't forget our mustache. We've got to have that mustache. Oh, we forgot our hair. So the hair is going to be made out of cables. So those are things that I'll further detail out as we get closer to the completion of the drawing. And let's get our baggy pants. We got to have those. Those and have our boots. So that's going to give it a heel. Just to add it, just to add a layer to it. All right. So our initial sketch is kind of done now. And so next, we're going to drop in flat colors. And so this is. Let's get our swatches. So on the bottom right here in the corner, we're going to have our swatches. And these are my, these are, these are Atlas One's colors, but I'm going to use these as a basis and just springboard launch from that point and add something a little different. So, so right now, I'm really thinking about a lot of like blues because of the electricity. And so um, that overall color will affect 
how Atlas One is perceived in this iteration. So we're just gonna drop in some colors. And today, for the sake of, uh, for just for the sake of, um, just give me giving a different experience. Uh, I may be introducing like shading, um, so you can see how light affects things differently. So instead of using this red, I'm actually gonna use blue. Um, so let's go. Blue's talking to me. This is my favorite blue. This is one of my favorite blues. So go for that. One. Do that. Then we'll use our normal yellow. So we have those. And so we're also going to take that blue and bring it into the goggles as well. Maybe have a little bit of light. Reflect it on there. We're gonna bring in. I'm also gonna start using because because I'm thinking more of a steampunk genre, so I'd like to start using some browns uh, to get that kind of vibe. So we'll do browns and whites. So let's see. So the fun part is that the use of these colors, I'm um, using these muted, more muted tones, earth tones are actually gonna allow Atlas One's metallic uh, color, his natural color, the yellow to pop uh, so much more. Uh, boots. I think I want to stick with that. This is darker color, but I may end up darkening these a little bit more. Um, but the goal is to kind of create, just keep some level of contrast. Um, just because overall, this these elements could bleed together. Uh, it can just the elements could get lost. So, or even this might happen. So, because I'm using a lot of dark tones, I actually may go back to making it yellow just because it pops a little bit more and so we kind of have these earthy mid earthy tones browns and uh, to be honest i'm pretty i'm much happier with this design choice so let's do that so we're going to keep it simple today with the colors which is some browns and yellows And then we're going to use some, to get the coils, I'm probably going to go for a more warmer tone. I think that looks good. Pull up our references, the pulse of images. And so, and this is an important thing about having references, that you can easily pull images and colors from different things. So today, I feel like speaking to me. Yeah, I'm gonna get this color. It kind of it's a goldish, a darker tone. So we're gonna work with that. So we're gonna use love. Boom. Okay, so we got that going on. Okay, that's getting a little blue. Let's fix that there. All right, so now that I kind of know, I know what colors we're working with, I'm actually gonna go in and clean up the design and continue to flush out different elements. Oh, and we need to give him hair. I'm tempted to make his hair a little blue, like it's conducting lightning as well. So we're gonna go with that. So let's do this. We're gonna take that there. That going. Let's use this dark gray to do the hair. 
got Tesla hair, made a cable, so we got that. Let's do a mustache. Let's also add another layer of detailing to it and kind of make the mustache look like wire cables as well as if these are coming out of his, from outside the, underneath his kind of metal faceplate. So we'll do that. Those. So we got those going. And now we can focus on more detail. So let's get that going. So I'm going to start kind of isolating, start just turning off other layers so I can really focus on this design. Making sure it's the best possible thing. So today, because we have Atlas One in this very Tesla vibe. Um, we're going to focus on, I'm gonna use a darker blue outline. And Kathy, thank you very much. We're gonna use a darker blue outline to detail out everything. Let's start off with goggles. So we have those going. So I may even consider using, doing some line work to make it look reflective. And I'd rather use white, uh, depending on the color. I might use white lines or something just to make it feel more believable. Sometimes using white, it could be misconstrued as, as uh, cracks or reflectivity, but as the artists, our job to convince you that it's using one or more. So we can do this. Like that. And so I think this version of Atlas One is gonna be very like clean cut. And so his hair, the cables are gonna be Kind of like pulled back, swooped over. So, And to keep our, uh, kind of keep this repetition of forms, I'm actually going to make these rods uh, emulate the, the Tesla coil in a way. And like, they're just like miniature versions of it. So we got that going. This repetition is a very important element of character design and rhythm. You kind of play around with color and repetition of, of form. So we'll do that. And then now we're working on the collar. And I'm also going to decrease the color layer so you can kind of see more of the line work detail. And right now I feel like I'm going to revisit my references again because I need to detail the vest a little bit more. So what we're going to do is I'm going to pull from my reference. Do this. There we go and get the buttons. So the buttons are shifting. This happens. I um, gotta do some, make some changes. But that got some creases. A little belt going on there, so that's the belt. Let's 
This is starting to look pretty good. It's starting to look like a believable vest now. Those elements. Get a little shirt. And start working on the arms and hands. Okay, so earlier I did mention I wanted lightning running through the hands, so I'm going to try something a little different. So I'm going to actually change the material of the hands. So if you were here yesterday, I had the, hand, the hands are more of a solid, a solid material, but today it's going to be translucent. We're going for it. So we're going to start off, we're going to finish these hands. We're going to give them some dimension. So we have our hands. Get the pants going in. And so what I'm going to do is we're going to introduce like another flat color. So we're going to take the same blue from earlier from here and incorporate that into the fingertips. So there's like a translucent, so just to have that color as a, as a underlay before we go over top of it with any other details. I'm also going to kind of clean up the different elements because some colors are poking through here. All right, so I'm going to clean this up a little bit. And I kind of want to use, I would like to use white buttons or some type of, I'll probably use a darker button. So his, so you have more of a contrast. So use like a darker button and maybe like a dark belt. Have our vest. And then uh, we have to throw this in. And I'm going to use the same colors that I use here. So we're talking about repetition. Got to bring those colors back. And then, boom, got those. Oh, looks, I'm, I'm doing the thing. I'm drawing on the wrong layers. So. Fix that. We're going to do this. So I noticed, like, based on my initial sketch, um, I didn't have much of a ellipses. And also, this is getting, this is too large. So we're going to change it just a little bit. And this is a really fun part about Procreate is that you can actually 
if you like hold a line a line long enough, it'll it will smooth it out for you. It's a, it's a little finicky, but it's it's working for us right now. So. Got a coils. And we're gonna we're gonna work smarter, not harder. We're gonna duplicate this, and then we could also modify if the perspective's off or it's not the right angle. We could flip it so it feels a little bit more unique, but cuts us down on drawing time. All right, so we got our coils. And so I'm going to have to do this because we're dealing with light. Uh, we're going to we may have to darken the background just a little bit. So I'm going to quickly sketch this out, and we're also going to go here and drop a swatch down here so we have that information. I didn't really use this color, so we're going to drop that there. All right. So we're back up here, filling in the Tesla coils. So we have that, and now we're gonna have to. Now that I have everything established, we can now kind of darken everything. So I'm going to change my background to a mid-tone. Let's do this. I just it's pure black. Let's go mid-tone. So we're gonna do this. And we're going to this element as well from the hair to make sure I see now the hair isn't blending in pretty well in this back to background. So what I'm actually gonna do is use a darker color to make it pop more. Now that we have this sort of established, I can do a quick pass at the shading and the lighting. And because I have all my colors on one layer, so this layer right here is called flats. So it's gonna be a flat colors. And then we're going to do another layer for lighting or shadows. Let's do shadows for now. So, shadows. So, when I'm doing, when I'm kind of shading in things, uh, I use an approach of just dropping in a tone, like a, just a standard blue, a really dark blue or purple, any tone. And then I lower the opacity and then I simply subtract out the light to get the give the impression of like realistic lighting. And so I'm thinking about how the light's gonna hit. It's goggles, uh, the light being generated from these Tesla coils and then how like how the shot how the shadows are going to to be created. So right here I've even noticed something else. Uh, we missed a spot. So let's kind of put some color there. That's perfect, but Get the point across. And so we're going to go back to our shadows. And we're going to yeah, flush those out a little bit more. And because the hands are going to glow, we're going to have a lot of light coming off the hands for now.
that happening. And then we're also going to add a type of ambient light just to just to give this a more realistic feel. So I'm going to take this blue. And we're going to kind of drop it over everything. And I'm going to soften it a little bit. So he feels like he's being like this this light that we're about to draw is really affecting him. And then, so we got that pretty much knocked down. And then now all I'm going to do is take this pretty cool brush. This is one of my favorite brushes in Procreate's light brush. And we're gonna create lightning. So it doesn't have to be. So now we have kind of lightning being generated. And like connecting to like different points like this and then maybe like some electricity being generated around around his feet and we're gonna have like some reflectivity on the coils right here And then having some light hitting his face. And sometimes I may put these um, on a different blending layer. So I'll do add just because the, the blue comes off as a little more white and has more of an impact or contrast. So now this feels way more believable. So we're going to do this for a little bit. Just make sure the light's hitting the different elements. Even the mustache. We gotta get the, can't forget the mustache. And I'm going to try to see we get some we can have some energy kind of like wrapping through the hands as well. Just something fun. A little texture. Just like that. Now I'm just thinking about how the electricity is kind of moving around the around the page. I forgot a little piece of light here on the fingertips. Here. Like that. I'm gonna go back to our blue and just finish kind of detailing out everything else. That. And then we're going to get a few more details in the hair. Just so it pops a little bit more. And because the buttons are buttons, dude, we might have a little bit of reflectivity or sheen on them as well. So the buttons pop a little bit more, thinking about how the light hits inside of the vest. These different moments, and then even the belt, like the belt needs to have some reflectivity as well, just so it stands out. Okay. So to, this will end our demo for today. Uh, thank you for joining me uh, in Artway Lines and Poe and Comics, and uh, stay tuned for more uh, programming today. So thank you very much.